Here we are discussing question number 10 as part of series of CTM interview questions. So the question is, explain the discrepancy management. It is also called query resolution. They may ask you process of the discrepancy or process of the query resolution. So discrepancy management is the process of identifying potential problem in the data that is collected during the clinical study. So it is nothing but identifying discrepant data. Identifying discrepant data that is collected during clinical studies. So discrepancy is defined as any data point that may be inaccurate, illogical, incomplete, missing. It can be inaccurate data. It can be illogical data. It can be incomplete data, missing data. It can be protocol violation, protocol deviation. So discrepancy management is also called as a query management. So it is a process of cleaning the data in the clinical data management systems, EDC systems, which will include manual checks, programmatic checks, edit checks. So some discrepancies can be corrected in-house, nothing but self-evident corrections. Some require query to be generated and communicated with the site. Some are corrected in-house through the self-evident corrections. Means they can correct on their own. No need to get the clarification from the site. But some discrepancies definitely require the clarification from the site. For that, we need to generate a query, send it to the site through the DCF, Data Clarification Form. It is also called Query Request Form. So resolution of discrepancy may involve the following. So we update the data resulting from the data entry error. We update the data according to the study specifications. We'll have some regulations, we'll have some specifications. According to that, we correct the data without expecting any clarification from the site. Those are called self-evident corrections. We send a query through DCF, data clarification form, for the discrepancy to the site for the clarification. So we send a query for the discrepancy to the site for the clarification. Once you get the clarification from the site, we'll update the data and we'll close the discrepancy. We'll close the query. So finally, you have to make sure all the queries are addressed, all the queries are resolved, all the discrepancies are addressed, all the queries are resolved. So this is discrepancy management. We need to identify the discrepancy, locate the discrepancy, resolve the discrepancy. The resolution, you may update the data on your own, like self-evident correction, according to the guidelines, or need to generate a query, send that query to the site. Once you get the clarification from the site, then we'll update the data. So this is process of discrepancy. If you have any questions, you can ask in the comment section. Thank you for watching this video. See you in the next video.